Hello everyone and welcome to SE Geek, the internet's most passionate software engineering show. I am your host, the Software Engineering Geek, and today we're going to be talking about classes versus scripts within Groovy. So sit back and download a cup of knowledge because SE Geek begins now. This time we're going to be talking about the difference between classes versus scripts within the context of Groovy. So, um, in a lot of uh, the episodes, you know, prior, uh, pre previous episodes, you've been seeing me just do things in a scripting mode. Um, you know, I don't have the, tra you know, a lot of these, I don't have the traditional public static class, and, you know, I have a main method, and I, you know, constructor and all that. Because I, I don't really need it for what I'm doing. Now, depending on the development you do with Groovy, you you may need this and you may actually want this. There there are reasons to, you know, have classes. Uh, because you can make instances of them, you can, you know, call methods on them and you know, all, all that uh that goes into, you know, the abstraction that, you know, is object oriented programming. Now, there are times where you don't need this. You're just writing a script. It depends, you know, like I said, what you're doing and what you want to get out of, you know, Groovy. Um, so just to show you this, I'll run this and, you know, obviously it works. Uh, you know, you have the main method which makes a new, you know, test class which is this and it prints the constructor and we call the method on it and it prints, you know, the method. So, you know, that's all fine and good. Uh, if you actually need you know a class for something there there are reasons uh, I'm not going to go about into you know why you might want that for any particular uh, reasoning but uh, in this uh, episode but let's uh, move on for you know what you can do in scripts now the reason this works is um, when it, it, the groovy compiler you know it actually or interpreter goes through this uh, depending on whether you actually compile it or not. Uh, actually, I think it compiles anyways, but in, in any case, it'll actually make the main method for you. And actually, you don't even have to declare the variables when you are in this script mode. It'll actually do that for you. I like to actually, you know, add the def, but you don't have to. So, I'll, I'll just to show you that this works, we'll run it and basically you know it just set up the method um, we have a variable we set to 10 we print the method so yeah we see that gets printed We call the method which prints method and we see that now I usually like to be a little more explicit and define it just in case because they're you know well if you ever move this code into a class having this will not work it'll complain you know you'll get you know errors so just as a matter of fact, I'd rather keep these in place. But as you see, you know, up here, you know, you have, uh, well, I didn't actually define anything other than this variable here, but, you know, I could just as easily have put, like, you know, def var here, and, you know, now we have an instance variable, you know, etc. Just like any, um, you know, object oriented way of going about it. But, you know, this is just, you know, streamlined for if you're just doing scripts on the fly. You know, it's a little less verbose. You don't have to care about, like, a main method because it just starts executing. If it comes to a method, you know, that's basically goes on, you know, so it's something that can get executed later. Um, and, you know, once it finds something, it kind of creates its own main method here. So that's pretty much what you can do with uh, scripts versus classes um, I prefer you know to use classes for you know various reasons uh, just because if you ever want to use uh, things like uh, I think it's the at log for J you know if you so you want to add logging you you the th thing about log for J is you need to have a class so a lot of times I'll use classes, but if it's just something quick, 
and just a little script that does something, I might not bother. You know, this you know would be good enough if I just wanted to write something that, you know, maybe uh, something that uh, ran some SQL against a database and printed out something. Maybe, you know, I just want a script to do that, or I want, you know, a script to move files around or something like that, uh, where I wouldn't necessarily need, you know, all of the ceremony that goes along with having a class. So that's pretty much all I wanted to say about the difference between, you know, classes versus scripts. Um, so keep it in mind uh, when you're playing around with Groovy. I'll talk to you next time.